everyone, I am Silver. It is Monday, August 17th. A quick welcome back must go out to all returning viewers. If you tuned in last time and decided to come back, I really do appreciate it. I also just wanted to say a quick hello to all new viewers. Okay, a little bit of backstory. The day after I recorded last, we actually lost power due to Storm Isaiah for about two, two and a half days. It wasn't the worst by Connecticut standard, standards, but basically by the end of day one, uh, yeah, yours truly really was acting like a total Karen as our AC unit is actually tied into the electricity. Um, I am one that does not really do well in the warmth. <laughs> so I felt out like I was making MDI's life crazier during that time than usual crazy. Anyway, uh, sorry, babe. <laughs> um, what that means is that I didn't want to do much in the way of like have wool in my lap. And honestly, I didn't have the pattern for my cross stitch on anything other than my computer and the internet so that was completely out and basically just meant that I did not get much during that time frame um I actually that's part of the reason why I decided to go ahead and skip recording last week basically as I was in the middle of a bunch of cast-ons as well in the first half of the week and I didn't want to stop casting things on um but anyway I'll be discussing well, anyway, I'll be discussing that a little bit later. All right, what that means is that I do have a bit more to talk to you about than I would have if I had actually recorded last week. So please grab your drink of choice, your crafting, and away we go. Today, as it's a little bit later in the day, I actually am just going to be drinking some raspberry uh, seltzer water, actually. Anyway, and before I do get started with everything else, I do want to say have a quick announcement here at the top of the episode. I have actually decided that I am going to go back to podcasting once a month, and I think I'm going to explain that a little bit later on in the episode, so you know. Let me take a quick drink and we'll get going. In this episode, we do have FOs, or finished objects, whips, or works in progress. We also do have X's and O's. Back to the Future, which I haven't done in a while. It just means anything that's coming up in the future on my needles. Radio Gaga, Silver's Book Pile, Silver and the Case of the Screen Time, My Favorite Things, and The End of the Road. All right, I'm just going to take another quick drink and we will get started. Okay, let's talk FOs. So you know, I am actually going to note the yardage that I had when I finished each object. To those who are counting as I go through the section, I do apologize ahead of time. The good news is that this should actually be the last week that I will be mentioning the yardage for Stash Dash, as Stash Dash is actually over this coming weekend, and I'm you know what? I'm cutting myself off here right now. Um, I will, however, be continuing to add all of my yardage up, um, but I won't be including it in the podcast. Um, I will be giving more details about this a little bit later. And just so you know, I'm going to also be putting all the yardages and stuff on the screen. So if you have any questions about anything, just let me know. <laughs> the first thing I did finish was one, count it, one blanket square for my ha my scrappy happy blanket take two blanket. Um, if you're if you, just so you know, that is a 11 round blanket squares that I'm making with a G hook, which is a 4.25 millimeter. Uh, wait, I do have one that is actually currently on the hook right now, um, but I just didn't finish it for some reason. Meh. Anyway, the second thing that I have finished is what I called drawing DVD in August. This netted me 286.44 yards. For stash stash. The pattern I used on these socks was the Vanilla is a New Black pattern by Ania Fletcher. I did use a DVD or Disservice to Dye Works Viso base in the Harold's Crayon colorway. And for these socks, I did use the size US1, which is a 2.25 millimeter, on um, 9 inch circulars for a majority of the sock, and then I switched them up to 2 16 inch circulars for the toe. Okay, the next thing that I did finish was what I called a sunflower shawl. This netted me 621 yards for stash stash. The pattern on this one was the Quick and Simple Granny Shawl by Hannah Owens. I did use Karen One Pound in the sunflower and black colorways. And for this shawl, I did use a size eye hook, which is a 5.5 millimeter. 
I love this shawl, you guys. My first crochet shawl that I have finished, so yay! <laughs> Alrighty, and the last couple things that I did finish, I'm going to kind of group together because um, they are basically the same pattern. What I called Bebe Barley B and Bebe Barley T, like Tom. This netted me a total of 150 total yards for Stash Josh. The pattern I used on both of these hats was the Barley Pattern by Tin Can Knits. And I did use a uh, Plymouth Yarns Hot Cakes in color 6, which is called Garden Mix. It is a mix of light pink. There's blues and no, not blues, greens in there. Why? <laughs> why? And oh, such a gender neutral color. And I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, I did use a size 6, which is a 4.0 millimeter for the ribbing of both brands, as well as a size use 8, which is a 5.5 for the rest of the hats. The whole time this has been actually housed in a Ziploc bag, as I totally expect to be done right away with them. Um, however, I'll talk more about that uh, hot cakes later. Um, all right, that means a total for stash dash that I have is 28,386.84 yards or a total of 25,819.8 meters. So yes, guys, I made my stretch stretch goal, I guess you can say. <laughs> it's insane, I know. Um, I have one last piece of information for Stash Dash that I need to put up in my post, and then you will never hear about Stash Dash probably until next year. So yay, I'm so glad I made my Stash, my stash Dash goal this year, you guys. How did you all do? Um, comment down below. I'd like to know how your stash dash goals went if you were playing along. And if you have a particular FO that you are the most proud of during the stash dash along. Anyway, with that in mind, I am going to go ahead and move on to the next segment. Just a quick word of warning. I do try to keep all the swearing out of the podcast, but I'm not necessarily always good about that. So if you are listening with young ones, just please be aware. And now on with the show. All right, let's move on to whips or works in progress. The first one that I'm going to talk about is one that you've actually seen before. It is what I called DVD Love Lesson 3 for a little heart symbol. I am using the Granny Stripes pattern by Lucy of Attic 24, and I'm actually using a bunch of various Desert Visit Dye Works scraps that are left over from past pairs of socks for that uh, sock cow every month. The full list for this is actually going to be listed on my blog as well as down below, um, actually, yeah, on my blog as well. And I'll be linking that directly in the show notes. For this project, I'm actually using a size G hook, which is a 4.25 millimeter boil, B-O-Y-L-E hook that I've had for years upon years. <laughs> All right. The next thing that I actually started since the last time we talked is what I called a blanket para bebe. It is the pattern D fuss free blank. Wow. The pattern I'm using on this one is the fuss free ba baby blanket by Louise Tilbrook Designs. And I am using a bunch and I repeat a bunch of colors from Paintbox Yarns Superwash Wool in the Simply Erin in the Slate Green, Pistachio Green, Vanilla Cream, Soft Fudge, and Red Wine colorways in that exact order. Um, give me a second guys, somebody's calling my phone. I said do not disturb. I don't want a spam call. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> the phone was literally right by the microphone. Sorry if you heard that. Um, anyway, I am actually housing this in my pink mattress bag by the Knitted Broomstick and using size 7 needles, which is a 4.5, a car, um, sorry, a US 7, which is a 4.5 millimeter Knitter's Pride Smart Sticks on the 24 inch cable on that one. I have actually going to be moving those up to the Chai Goose relatively soon because I am running out of room. <laughs> Actually, probably by the time I put a picture up for the episode, you will have seen that changeover. So I would be using a, sorry, the Chai Goo Red Lace on a 60-inch cable. 
The next thing that I did start since the last time we talked was what I call Bebe Flax 1. Um, it is the flax pattern by Tin Can Knits. I'm actually knitting the two to four year size. This way we can give the recipient a little bit of time to grow into it as well. Um, especially since uh, they will be born just before the summertime. So anyway, I am actually using paint box yarns in the Superwash wool uh, worsted in the buttercup yellow colorway. I'm using a size US 6, which is a 4.0 millimeter for the ribbing, as well as a size US 8, which is a 5.0 16 inch circs for the rest of the body. And this is being housed in my pink flower bag by the Fat Squirrel. Now for the flax, I am currently up to the end of the body on this one, only because uh, I'm not really a fan of sleeves, even on little baby knits. So anyway, the next thing I'm going to talk about is what I call Bebe Flax 2. Again, I am also knitting this in the flax pattern, the Tin Can Knits, by Tin Can Knits. <laughs> and it is in the two to four year old size. Um, instead of the buttercup yellow for this one, I am actually using the spearmint green. The same information applies. It's being housed in my pink flower bag by the Fat Squirrel, as well as using size US 6, which is a 4.0 millimeter for the ribbing, and the size 8. 5.0 16 inch circulars they're so cute and then for the second one the second one i'm actually in the middle of doing the increases i hope to get to the split for the sleeves maybe tomorrow sometime not too sure the fifth thing that i did uh, actually start since the last time you talked is what i call power went out okay time for a new project I'm about 35 rows into this shawl. Um, this pattern is the Quick and Simple Granny Shawl by Hannah Owens. And I am actually using miscellaneous stripe, stripe sequence yarns. Um, they could be from any company. I will try to remember to link all of them on my blog, um, the blog entry for the, yes, for that particular project. If I can remember. <laughs> if I don't, I'm sorry. Anyway, I mean, I am using a size G hook, which is a 4.0 millimeter on my new Knitter's Pride crochet hook. Um, I actually put it into the picture so you can see it's a nice purple handle sticking out of the middle of my shawl. So yes, um, <laughs> and this is actually being housed directly in my TARDIS bag by the Knitted from Sick. Alrighty, the last thing I have actually started since the last time we talked was what I'm simply just calling Test Knit. I can tell you right now, I can't say much about this test knit until CC or, or Java Pearl Designs is actually ready to, to premiere the pattern. I can't show you the progress I'm, I make whenever I record. However, I can show you the yarn that I'm using. I am actually using the Nice and Knit in the Seaside colorway. CC has actually given me permission to share that the pattern name will be I'll, I'll have two coffees and two cherry danishes to go, please, Cowl. She has also allowed me to talk about the professional cast on, which is part of the cast on for this shawl or cowl rather. Now, the reason being is that I have actually found a different way of casting this on with a provisional cast on. So instead of having to pick up the stitches from your crochet chain, you can actually always just cast onto the needles directly using the crochet hook and waist yarn. Honestly, once I got used to this method, it was super fast. It was faster than picking up stitches because I am bad at picking up stitches, especially from a crochet chain. Actually, more so, it's easier for me with a crochet hook <laughs> to do it from a crochet chain than to do it from regular knit stitches. Don't know why. Anyway, it did go super fast once I figured it out, you guys. <laughs> I'm going to link the video I used in the show notes and down below in the description box. All right, with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next segment. Let's move on to X's and O's. So I've been writing a little bit this past couple weeks, you guys. Um, on my personal blog, I have actually put up a bunch of blog entries for all of my FOs. And then there's this post that I listed all the FOs from 2020. And there's also a post for my stash dash details. Um, yeah, you'll also start to see that I'm going to be starting to add posts that detail the projects that I'm currently working on. Um, I'll be adding updates to them 
directly to the blog entries as well as that. And then whenever I finish a project, I'm going to start putting the uh, 2020 FO Parade tag on them with a note that says that I finished them. Uh, this is kind of a new system that I've come up with um, just after I stopped using Rav, Ravelry to document projects I've been working on. With this, the FO Parade will come, will continue, and then I won't have to continue to flood your feeds with twice the number of posts. With the total number of projects I have going right now, um, I totally expect the post to go on for at least a few weeks, as I'm releasing three a day, three times a week. All right, so you know, I just looked. I have posts scheduled for the next two and a half weeks. It might be more, depending on how fast I keep casting all the things on. <laughs> Either way. I have actually worked on two different cross-stitch projects since the last time we talked. The first is Super Mario by Stitch Area. I'll actually include her Etsy shop below and in the show notes. Um, I picked this one up for MTI as he really likes this one. I finished it mm, about 12 hours before MTI's birthday, which um, was on the 10th. Hence another reason why I decided not to record last week, you guys. The second project that I did actually start since the last time we talked is in this house dot 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 doctor who my st stitch area again i'll include her etsy shop down below and in the show notes i have gotten so much done on this one line um this the line that i chose was literally the, the midway point in the project um if you can see with the dalek on the side on the right hand side i am too close for comfort to the edge of the fabric but I'll make it work when I have FO it later, right? <laughs> Either way, before I start rambling again, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next segment. Back to the future. All right, this is a segment I don't normally have going on, but I have so many plans going on in my head with all the things that I want to cast on. So I guess I was going to go ahead and discuss that now. I am planning on two different patterns that I'm going to repeat at least twice. Um, in the case of the first one, I may cast them on a total of six times. So we will, sh we shall see. The first one that I was referring to, the six times, <laughs> I'm planning on several baby vertebrae sweaters by Kelly Van Nykirk in different sizes and colors. I will talk more about them when I get to them, but I just want to let you, give you guys a heads up that it's in the works. <laughs> Not exactly sure how many times I want to cast this one. I may find a different sweater for a few of them, but like I said, I will talk more about that later on. The next pattern I do plan on casting on is the Baby Chino Socks by Dami Elman as well. Um, one is going to be in the baby size and another one's going to be in the toddler size in both the same colorway. So we shall see. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next segment. Radio Gaga. All right, you guys, I have been listening to a fair amount of music since the last time we talked. Like I said, in the last couple segments, I have been doing a lot of plotting, planning, and a lot of writing. So I needed background music. I have been listening to my 2018 SSK playlist, which is a lot of different music. <laughs> I've also been listening to 90s music on Comcast just to kind of have a lot of background noise and the nostalgia factor, of course. And I've also been listening to Cosmic Thing by the B-52s, as well as the entire album of Hot August Night 2 by Neil Diamond, because why not? <laughs> I've also been listening to a few podcasts, and those include The Murder Squad, My Favorite Murder, Wine and Crime, and That's Why We Drink as well, although technically it's a watching podcast, but they're also audio mostly, so... Anyway, I am going to go ahead and move on to the next segment. Silver's Book Pile. All right, you guys, I have finished 13 books since the last time we talked, which I guess is okay. Not my total, my absolute, what do you call it? My, my goal was to read more, but meh. Stuff happens, right? 
I have finished Stitches and Witches by Nancy Warren. Um, more in the same series by Nancy Warren is Crochet and Cauldrons, Stockings and Spells, Pearls and Potions. And then I also read the Geek Tycoon, Tender is a Nerd, It's All Geek to Me, and A Nerd to Remember. That was by Nikki Tyler Thompson, if I remember correctly. Yes, I had to double check that. <laughs> And then the next series that I started was the a series by Rachel Heron uh, that is that includes sorry, how to knit a love song, honeymooning, Eliza home, Eliza's home, how to knit heart back home, and Sora's Cora's heart. Just finished that last night, and I'm actually currently reading also by Rachel Heron Fiona's Fiona's Flame. Another book I've been reading is To Have and to Hold by Fern Michaels. That's kind of slow going because, again, paperback. And you all know me in paperbacks. It takes me forever to read those. <laughs> Don't know why. Uh, let's see. I've also been reading New Moon by Steve Stephanie Meyer, along with the Hot and Bothered podcast. And I've also been reading Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, also along with the uh, Harry Potter and the Sacred Text podcast. All right, with that, I am going to go ahead and move on to the next segment. Silver and the case of the screen time. All right, you guys, I have been watching a lot of TV and stuff since the last time we talked. I did end up finishing Stargate SG-1, the entire thing, up to the last episode of season 10. I also watched Stargate Atlantis up to season three, episode 19. I'll be getting back to that soon. <laughs> I've also been watching the Supernatural along with Siska Says on YouTube. Love that. Love that show, you guys. I love her. Anyway, um, we are now up to season one, episode 16. And I've actually been watching the new seasons of Ghost Hunters with Grant and the gang. I am about three or four episodes into season two which is the most current season i cannot wait to get going on that one you guys <laughs> let's see oh i did manage to watch a movie this time around which is very rare um i did watch the stargate arc of truth movie um i'm also hoping to read to watch continuum which is the other stargate movie maybe in the next week or so anyway you'll have to watch next time to find out for sure I've also been watching GGK CS's podcast, the Knit Girls podcast, the Adore Knit podcast, Stitching the High Notes, Stuck in It Zombie, and True Crime Daily. Okay, with that, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next segment. My favorite things. I do have... Uh, a few things that came my way that were pretty exciting this week. The first was MTI's birthday. Uh, MTI wanted grilled veggies, which is rare for him. Not, um, I don't know. But he's actually trying to eat healthier, as I'm not really surprised that he, you know, as I normally would be, that he is actually craving veggies for his birthday. Anyway, we did have grilled potatoes with some chicken strips. I uh, made myself a salad to go with it. Um, other than that, he did do a birthday stream and played a few games as part of this, as part of his prep for the Big Twenty, which is basically a race through different sections of twenty different games. Um, oh yeah, he also played his birthday stuff on Animal Crossing too. He was, uh, I'd say, he was pleasantly surprised with how much he could do. <laughs> um, and other than that, it was pretty much a low key day, which is kind of how we like it. Um, Oh, yes. The next thing I'm going to talk about um, in terms of my favorite things. Um, Mario likes being in boxes, apparently. <laughs> but that's most cats, I'm sure. Um, he hardly jumps in them. But, yeah. Anyway, I did get a bunch of enabling, actually, from a website called Lovecrafts. In that box, I did get my Knitter's Pride Smart Six, the blue thick circular needles, the US 7s that I mentioned before on the 24 inch cable. I also did get the skein of Plymouth Yarn Hot Cakes in the Garden Mix colorway. And then there were a bunch of yarns from Paintbox Yarns. In the Simply Erin, we did have the Soft Fudge colorway, the Vanilla Cream colorway, the Slate Green, pistachio green and red wine 
in the worsted base, I did get the Spearmint Green, the Kingfisher Blue, the Bubblegum Pink colorway, and the Buttercup Yellow. You guys, I love those colorways, and you can probably tell I've casted on most of that before. So, yeah. It took about a week or so. Consider That wasn't bad, considering the power outages and trees down in our areas. Anyway, I am going to go ahead and move on to the next segment. All right, we have come to the end of the road. I am pretty social. You can find me on our Discord board now, which is Silver's Dreamland Podcast. It is searchable now. Sorry about last week, but I also put the link down below in the comment section below. Um, so, you know, on Discord, I am Silver D, uh, then the pound sign 8858 on there. On Facebook, Silver Streamline can now be found at www.facebook.com backslash groups backslash Silver's Dreamland podcast. Yes, I know when you had searched Silver Streamline before, two different things came up, um, the group and the page. If you follow the group for for, an, for every, anything and everything, there's going to be episodes there um, as well as the uh, long updates as well. And now on Instagram, I am Silver Streets. On Twitter, I am at Silver's Knitting. So you'd know, I do tend to read through all messages as soon as I possibly can. Um, if I don't hear from you within 24 hours, please feel free to email me directly at silversdreamland at gmail.com. And as always, everything that I do talk about can be found directly in the show notes at www.silversdreamlandpodcast.com. If you haven't done so already, please feel free to go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell down below. This way, others can find me in my little corner of YouTube. That, and you can also see when I post videos. Okay, I have rambled for long enough. I know your time is valuable, so please feel free to join in any discussion, or you can start your own directly on the Silver Dreamland Discord group. I don't bite, I promise. If you are feeling generous, please click that like button below the video. It really does help my channel out. So please stay tuned for episode 96 in a few weeks. Until next time, happy crafting! First thing that I did finish this week was I actually finished one, count them, one blanket square for my happy, sorry, sorry. I did finish one square for my happy, let's try that again. One more time. All right. <laughs> so a quick word of warning. This next blooper is a little bit on the loud side and a warning for those that have any kind of like PTSD with like fireworks and stuff. You might want to give this next part a skip even though I kind of act kind of crazy. Anyway, see y'all next week. Yo, MDI got a package. But he gave me a wow. bubble. I love the bubble wrap, y'all. ASMR, y'all. <laughs> Sorry, I'll stop now. <laughs> Maybe one more? One more.
such an idiot. <laughs> I don't know what made me think to do that. <sighs> you would swear I was drunk, y'all. Anyway. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> that hurt my ears, y'all. <laughs> I recorded the whole thing. I was still like talking to the microphone. Uh, okay. Let me make sure I can hear now. <laughs> okay.